buddy. You're letting all the heat out. You know how much it costs to heat this can? Look, unless you're paying the bill, keep the door closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it. You could poke an eye out with that thing. Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. And now, a special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got the hook in a pole? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's cut rate bait, it can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog. And next, my genuine fish fly larva. And finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so as they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so as that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please! You raised us! You fed us! You taught us to do this! <laughs> Don't give us the hook! Oh. Here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So send me back and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Another return? Oh. 
Oh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey, guys, huddle up. Break! Only bait left is Penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of Penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. We have returned! But what's wrong? Well, you fed us when we were little, so we can return the favor. Right, boys? Remember what you taught us? Watch this! frozen fish dinners. Howdy! Are you a hungry TV watcher? Let me show you how I fast freeze all that great taste into my frozen dinners. I use only the most modern freezing methods available to man a dog. This here is liquid nitrogen. Whatever y'all do, do not try this at home. <laughs> Smedley's frozen fish dinners. Meanwhile, I'll search for a new freezing technique. That won't leave me broke. Dad, seven thousand three hundred. Current cash zero. You owe money in seventeen states and. <laughs> the Antarctic is the perfect place to find the newest fast freezing techniques that will succeed where my latest ideas have failed. Hmm, I could have sworn I heard something. Huh? Now, I definitely don't remember that there windsock. Owning a frozen dinner franchise can be a mighty chilly business. People will stop at nothing to steal your fast freezing secrets. The ice here in the Antarctic is the most frigidest ice in the world. And cold contact is my newest freezing technique. These here ice blocks will quick freeze my dinners faster than a bug in a blizzard. <laughs> now hold on one ice picking minute here, small fry. Special delivery. Send this pest to the remotest corner of the world. Now, if I place my dinner right here, 
The frigid wind chill factor from this here fan will blow on it. Then, when the thermometer drops to here, my dinners will be frozen solid. chill factor from this here fan will make the mercury in that there thermometer drop faster than a bad chin tuck. Hmm, looks like I'll need more wind chill than I first thunk. There, you snowbound bamboozler. You got no right taking this here food before it's properly frozen, and no right taking it, period, question mark. Do I make myself clear as an ice cube? Oh, little fella, say. You really are a fan of Smedley's frozen fish dinners. 485,000 dollars for Smedley's frozen fish dinners from the Igloo Emporium. 96 cents. You gotta understand, I'm just trying to find the best method to fast freeze all that tasty freshness into my frozen dinners. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why, of course! Who would know better? The secrets of fast freezing than a penguin. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. Yep, like my Uncle Fretz always used to say, you can lead a penguin into water, but it takes one smart dog to make him fish for you. Sports fans, the fate of the upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world-famous super scout. Slapshot Smedley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. World famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> Small fry, 
You're the property of the International World Hockey League, and I show now. So listen up. My reputation's on the line. And before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges, if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now, what is he? On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now, this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big-time hockey move. That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Now I know why they call it a face-off. This boy sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in sticks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in hockey scouting. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Son, something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy, how's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. That'll get his mind in this game for certain. season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no-talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, penguin. Oh, too bad. For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs. Ah, uh, 
Death soldiers had some tough fights in the Corps, but nothing like this cold and flu. <laughs> That's right, Doc. I am so sick. Get here as soon as you can. Ugh. An Antarctic Corps soldier is never supposed to leave this command post. Unless it's just too darn sick to stand up. Now that's not too comfy. Chicken soup. Oh, do I have to? Okay. Pleasey, weezy, pretty, pleasey, with itty bitty, with your sugar plumpies or topsies. Roger Wilco over now, Bob. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob's chicken soup will have her little soldier boy on his feet and feel ready before you can say. <laughs> Smells like penguin. Mama's chicken soup. <laughs> I gotta get to bed. <laughs> uh, that pig was running me so ragged. I'm running fever for sure. Oh no! Gotta cool this fever ASAP! <laughs> This calls for a little military strategy. I'll just head that penguin off at the pass and take care of my fever at the same time. A little trick I learned in survival training. Now that's a top secret operation done right. I must be allergic to penguins. I need, I need sleep. I need medical attention. I, I, need, I need my mommy. <laughs> now that little tuxedo wearing thief won't be able to steal this hot water bottle without waking me. That's army intelligence. Goodness, you're here. Tell me what I got. <laughs> wow! Oof! Yeah. I knew it. It got to come out of that. Okay. I can shake it like a show you. Uh... Say, Doc, 
Are these, are these traps really necessary? Well, all right then. Get on with it. I'll be brave. Ah! I can't what? for you for the last two hours, Hogwash. You're supposed to be on watch command. I was, sir, but then I got so sick, and then I got a fever, and then I broke out in hives, and then this penguin tried to steal my high water bottle, and then I... Yeah. Hogwash, you're delirious with fever. Hallucinations. Hot water bottle stealing penguins? I'm ordering you back to bed. <laughs> 